Hello everybody, Andy here again. Oh, should I say ho ho ho, because tis the season to be jolly and all that sort of thing. As you can see, I thought I'd put on a, a festive hat. Now, I don't look very good in hats. My wife says I was like a bit of a boiled egg. And anyway, <laughs> so one of those looks like with a hat. I don't think this is too bad, but this thing's a bit dangerous. I keep catching my eye on it. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd do, as you might have guessed, as you might have seen on the title, I thought I'd call this my uh, Yule vlog. Sorry for the pun, but I thought I'd get my retaliation in early and uh, have a little chat about Christmas and the new year and what's coming up in 2008 and a bit of a, a reflection on my 2008. And eight, as far as YouTube and that has gone as well. But I thought I'd mention Christmas first because I'm sure there's loads and loads of videos out there. And I do remember doing my last year about how Christmas seems to come earlier and earlier uh, every single year. It starts, sort of starts in about September now. I know in uh, over there in the US that uh, you get Thanksgiving and then basically it starts the day after. It's called Black Friday, I seem to remember. Probably called Black Friday for a very good reason. But uh, over here in the UK, it seems to start sort of September, October. All the bits and pieces are going into the shops, and it's just become one sort of big commercial enterprise now. Now, I'm not a, I'm not a religious person by any means, but um, I do feel a bit <laughs> sort of sad for the fact that uh, we seem to have completely lost the meaning of Christmas. Now it's just a big commercial sellout, and it's all about eating too much, drinking too much, and inevitably spending too much as well. We seem to have forgotten all that the Christmas is actually about. Um, you still got the sort of family thing, but even that seems to be sort of going out the window. Over here in the UK, you become the sort of boxing day, the day after Christmas, and the sales start and everybody's back out there buying things. And uh, for that reason, and I think that's one of the reasons, certainly, this year especially, um, I've noticed that I have not felt very Christmassy at all. And uh, my wife, and we were talking about this the other day, said exactly the same thing. And we know lots of other people talking to them who feel the same. Now, I, I wonder why that is. But my, I suspect that that's mainly due to that sort of commercial aspect. There's so much pressure around Christmas now. When you've got young kids, as I did have, it's great. It's a magical time because of all that sort of Santa Claus, Father Christmas sort of thing. Uh, and, it, and it's great watching them open their presents and seeing their excitement and their reactions and things like that. But when your children get older, they still enjoy Christmas, of course. But uh, it's not quite the same. And uh, and. For the parents, I suppose, it, that, that sort of whole excitement bit sort of goes as well. So uh, maybe that's a reason. You're getting older and all that sort of stuff. But I find myself becoming more of a sort of a bar humbug every, every year. So I wondered if anybody else is like that. I suspect lots of people are. Now it's getting closer to Christmas. I do feel a bit more Christmassy. But I still can't really get into the spirit. Which is one reason why I thought I'd put this hat on. And it might help. But it's actually just annoying me. <laughs> that's just one of those things. But um, one thing I thought I'd do. I've received a few uh, Christmas cards from people. So uh, I've got Gary, Anakin1814. I've got a card from him today so thanks very much to that uh, Samantha Oddsweb over there in Ireland I've got a card from her and some um, uh, who was it Jennifer Lizzie Kitty got one from her as well which is very very nice actually great and one of those great things I've seen lots of other people talking about this as well getting cards from across the world I sent a few out myself and that sort of shows the power of this community and uh, the way that it's come over this last year as I said 2007 it's been a great year for me here on YouTube what I'm going to do because I've got several people's uh, email proper email addresses and I thought what I do I would send people e-cards because it's a lot cheaper it's a lot more <laughs> environmentally friendly you can just send an electronic e-card e as they are so um, for all those people that I've got your email I think I'll send you an e-card there's anybody out there who wants to get an, an e-card from me and um, you may well do you never know um, just send me a private message and I'll see what I can do and send you one because they are quite nice little cards anyway um, 2008 or oh, sorry 2007 what's it been like well for me it's um been quite an amazing year I'm sure it has been for lots of other people as well I just uh, sort of had a quick look back as best as I can and at the beginning of 2007 I had under 50 subscribers and it seems a long long time ago uh, now I've got I've gone over 300 which is great and I sort of uh, value and treasure every single one of you and I get great feedback from all of you I know I've said this so many times but it certainly bears repeating um, the people out there who comment on my videos watch my videos subscribe to my videos the comments that I get the interaction that I get from you people 
and some of the compliments and things like that and messages etc that I get is absolutely wonderful and uh, I do appreciate that very very much I must say and uh, I will never tire of saying it I just hope you don't tire of me saying it to you and hearing it so uh, thanks very much for that thanks for making 2007 for me a very very good time I know we've got more and more attached to this site we've all become more and more addicted to it but as we've been talking about in other videos that is partly because of the because of you you people out there the people that I watch the people that watch me that interaction etc keeps me here I have more interaction with my friends on YouTube now than I tend to do with the people in the real world but you to me are real friends and that's great so I should be thinking about you at Christmas and I hope that you all have a great Christmas or happy holidays or whatever it might be as for 2008 what's going to happen in 2008 well for YouTube I don't know but for me personally um, I intend to be here you know I was talking my last video about what's keeping you here the reaction to that has been more or less a hundred percent we all want to be here we all have the interaction that I've just been talking about so uh, I don't think anybody really wants to leave we all bitch and moan as I said about little aspects of the site but uh, we all love being here it would take all of us to jump ship and I can't really see that actually happening I'm not sure we you know we, we've grown up here haven't we this is where probably where we belong anyway yeah, but um Aside from that, what's coming up in 2008? Well, there's a South Tube gathering, hopefully in October. I, I presume that that's going to go ahead, and I certainly intend to get down there if I can and sort of maybe combine it with some other activities as well. Um, as I've mentioned before, my involvement with a, a radio station, Hastings Rock, we're hoping to be back in May of next year. It's been a bit up in the air and not quite uh, decided, and it still isn't, but uh, that will hopefully be taking place in the month of May, which once again, as, as this year, will mean that I won't be about during May because there's just too much going on with the DJ and organising and helping out and all that sort of thing. So I'll keep you up to date with that as what's going on. You can check out the MySpace page. Check out the uh, My Channel page for more details about that. Something else that might well be coming up, uh, one of my subscribers, someone I subscribe to, contacted me about possibly doing a, a Liverpool Tube 2008 and um, we've exchanged a few emails, haven't heard for a while but um, talking about trying to arrange something in Liverpool, I live hundreds of miles away but uh, it sounds like a great idea, well I haven't been to Liverpool for about 30 years and uh, we keep going on about the Beatles and my musical connections and all that sort of stuff so that will really tie in with uh, lots of things and if it does come off the idea is to maybe have some sort of Beatles theme and that's going to be in the summer somewhere around June, July I believe the sort of prospective dates were but um, once again that's um, one of those things that may well come up also hopefully in the new year a couple of sort of collaboration ideas are sort of going around between a couple of us a couple of people had an email from someone today and uh, we're sort of talking about that side of things and uh, reinventing one of the, a video we did a long time ago possibly and uh, looking at the a couple of other ideas as well which are in the pipeline and hopefully lots more videos from me lots more ideas and I as I keep saying I get a lot of my ideas from you from your comments etc as well and that's uh, one of the things that spurs me on I'm sure it's one of the things that spurs us all on anyway I think I've uh, gone on about that for far too long so as I said I will, I will be back before Christmas but I thought I'd get my Yule vlog in before everybody else did <laughs> as I said get my retaliation in early so anyway have a Merry Christmas every single one of you happy holidays whatever it might be so uh, I will see you again uh, very soon oh, I've got to take this hat off I'm getting very very hot anyway thanks for your time thanks for all your support thanks for all your messages and everything over the last year I've thoroughly enjoyed myself and I hope that you have as well anyway thanks for your time I'll speak to you again shortly goodbye